Has the time finally come? Will we be able to see the supernova of the star Betelgeuse? The giant star is going crazy and in this video we find out if and when we can see the supernova. So if you don't want to miss it, make sure you stay tuned to the end and if you like it I'm galactically happy about a thumbs up and a comment, because that's how we get the YouTube algorithm to show this video to even more people. Thanks a lot guys and welcome. <laughs>Betelgeuse has been on our minds for a long time. In fact I made videos about it a few years ago. Almost everyone thought that the giant star Betelgeuse would soon explode in a supernova. That option is now completely off the table. After all, my videos have changed somewhat over the years, as has Betelgeuse behavior. Back then, the star darkened and it was speculated that this could be an indication of a supernova soon. But, nothing there. Its brightness has returned to normal. But this time everything could be different, because its brightness has changed drastically again. This time it is increasing. But before we find out whether we will soon be able to admire a supernova, let's first take a look at what kind of superlative star we are dealing with here. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant located in the constellation of Orion, one of the most famous and conspicuous constellations in the night sky that you have surely seen on a clear winter night. By the way, I'm never sure how to pronounce Orion now, so drop me a line in the comments telling me how you pronounce the constellation. Betelgeuse is much larger than the Sun, but it pulsates and so there is no fixed value. Approximately its diameter is 700 to 1000 times the diameter of the Sun. I have placed Betelgeuse here in our solar system so that we can better imagine it. And you can see that even the Sun looks like a small speck of dust next to this giant. If that were reality, no government in the world would be able to avert climate change. But today we are not just talking about hot air, but about hot helium. We now know that we are really dealing with a giant, one of the biggest stars we know, but 642 light years away. And that is a very important fact when we talk about whether we can soon see a supernova here. Because we can never see such a celestial body as Betelgeuse live here on Earth. Every look into space is always a look back in time for us. We see cosmic events as they looked when the light made its way to us. The light from the sun, for example, takes 8 minutes and 20 seconds to reach the earth. So you always see the sun as it looked 8 minutes and 20 seconds ago. Consequently, we see Betelgeuse as it looked 642 years ago. So the moment we see the supernova, it has already been centuries. It is also possible that it has already happened, but has simply not yet reached us. If you take this thought to its logical conclusion, none of what you see is really real in the present. Even when you look at your beloved friend, the information that lands in your eye has traveled for a few microseconds. Hardly measurable, but de facto there is no present. Everything you perceive has already passed, swallowed up by the tides of time and buried under the debris of the past. Okay, maybe I got a little carried away. Armed with this knowledge that we are seeing Betelgeuse delayed by just over 600 years, we can now clarify whether we will soon be presented with the supernova as a celestial spectacle. Before I tell you, a quick note, you help me a lot with a thumbs up for the video, maybe we'll get as many likes as the number of light years Betelgeuse is away from us, and that times 10? I'm curious. Betelgeuse is really behaving extremely. In the past few weeks, its brightness has increased by more than 50% compared to its normal brightness. This is really unusual and one has to ask the question, what's going on? Something must be going on with the process that will cause Betelgeuse to explosively eject its shell, also called a supernova. Betelgeuse is currently undergoing a process called shell burning. For most of their existence, stars fuse hydrogen into helium. This is what our sun is doing right now, every second, 564 million tons of hydrogen are converted into 560 million tons of helium inside the sun. So the sun is losing for million tons of weight per second, some of us can only be envious. When a star has fused all its hydrogen, heavier elements are fused. 
helium to carbon, carbon to oxygen, and so on. Meanwhile, the star contracts more and more. This increases the density and temperature, and when a critical point is exceeded, a supernova occurs. The star ejects its gas shell into the cosmos and a diffuse hot nebula remains, a so-called supernova remnant. In order to have enough energy for this, however, a star needs a certain minimum mass. Our sun is too light for this and will never explode in a supernova. Betelgeuse, however, so did. It is probably in a helium-burning phase right now. In this phase, the radiation pressure of the star decreases and a contraction begins. But this is not a steady process, so you can think of it more as a kind of pulsation. Sometimes it gets smaller, sometimes bigger, sometimes brighter, sometimes darker. All clear signs that it is on the way to going supernova. What would such a supernova look like from Earth? Absolutely spectacular. Brian Penpraise, an astronomer at Soka University of America, says, the sky would change so dramatically and it would be so visible to everyone that it would really cause a huge reaction around the world. Maybe it could even reignite a civilization-wide interest in astronomy. The supernova would definitely be visible to the naked eye. Probably even during the day. Researchers have calculated that it would shine as brightly as the full moon and be visible from Earth for several weeks. Here you can see roughly what that would look like. So in terms of brightness, we would have a second moon in the sky. It's hard to imagine what people who believe in the flat Earth will make of this again. It's bullshit. It's rubbish. It's Masonic rubbish. Such a supernova would release gigantic energies and hurl violent UV, X-ray, and gamma rays into space. You might get nervous and ask. Wouldn't that be a danger to us? No, because Betelgeuse is too far away from us for that. It is assumed that any supernova that is more than 250 light years away from Earth is not a danger to us. So folks, don't worry, we have no further reason for yet another existential fear. Should it happen, it would simply be a spectacular, beautiful celestial event. But now the question of all questions, when will it happen? Astrophysicist Jared Goldberg says, we know Betelgeuse will explode soon, but soon is somewhere between the next 10,000 and 100,000 years. In other words, yes, the fluctuations in brightness are a clear indication that a supernova is imminent, but imminent just means something different for stars than it does for us humans. It could happen in our lifetime, but the time periods in which such things happen make it simply unlikely. It could just as well be that Betelgeuse simply continues to pulsate and the brightness soon decreases again. But if it happens and the light reaches us, we definitely can't miss it. Betelgeuse would then become up to 100,000 times brighter in just one week. So if you look out of the window early in the morning, it doesn't mean that someone has pressed the red button, it could just be Betelgeuse. But what I would find even more spectacular, please make this channel explode. Every new subscriber helps us make this channel go supernova. Thanks guys. Let's stay with destructive cosmic events. I'm sure you all know what happened to the dinosaurs back in the day. And here's an almost unbelievable fact, there are dinosaur bones on the moon. No joke, folks. You can find out how they got there in the video shown here, and I promise you, it will blow your mind. So go ahead and click on it. And if you want to support my work, then treat yourself to the shirts from the videos in the space shop. Every purchase helps me a lot to continue the channel. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.